Yo, what's going on everyone? It's me, The Rocking Raptor, and today, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm bringing you the first ever episode of a video series that I've been very excited to do. Now, if you can't tell, I am kind of fucked up right now. I got my wisdom teeth taken out yesterday. I don't feel good. I'm a little bit loopy still. Uh, my teeth, you know, or my lack of teeth ache a little bit, but you know what? We're pushing through. We're going to get this video out for y'all. Now, if you haven't already seen the title of this video, uh, I want this series to be called Friday Night Fireside Chats. And what it's going to be about is either me sharing uh, my opinions on an important topic <clears throat> that I see in the world, or me telling y'all some funny stories about my life and hopefully making y'all laugh. Now, let me preface this video before any of y'all start to get smart in the comments. Yes, I know it's not Friday when I'm uploading this first episode. There's been some complications. I've been wanting to uh, really get this, uh, make sure that this video is good and get it out for y'all and, you know, really entertain y'all. So, yeah, okay, I know it's not Friday when I'm uploading this. Sue me. Um, but the topic of this first video I thought should be YouTube. And the three main points that I want to cover today is my history on, you know, the big YouTubes, how I feel about it, how I feel about YouTube, and where I want to go, where I want my channel to go on YouTube. So, without further ado, let's get right into this video, ladies and gentlemen. Now, before we get started on the topics of this video, let me just shout out a quick disclaimer that I have never been a philosophy major, thank God, so technically speaking, I may not have the right qualifications to share my opinions on YouTube, on the internet, but whatever, who fucking cares, we're going to do it anyways. Now, the first uh, topic that I have today on my list is my history of YouTube. Uh, I got my first computer back in late 2013, December of 2013, and probably less than a month later, I found this amazing site called YouTube. And surprisingly, I can actually remember the first ever YouTube video I watched. It was the ASDF movies. And if you haven't seen them, what the hell are you doing with your life? Pause my shitty video right now and go watch them, because I will guarantee you'll be laughing your ass off just as I was. And just after those videos, I just kept coming back and finding more and more creative content. Uh, Smosh was a big channel that I watched. Uh, their creativity never made me, never failed to make me laugh. Uh, I also really got into watching people play video games on YouTube. Uh, probably the biggest topics that I watched were Minecraft, CS:GO, and Pokemon. Uh, watched a lot of Minecraft YouTubers, just as every kid did back then. Uh, Sky does Minecraft. That was a big one for me. Uh, the pack uh, with Vicstar Lachlan and that group. That was. Those were probably my. You know, favorites on YouTube, Th those were the people that I looked up to, and uh, you know, I saw them as pretty cool. So it's pretty clear that I've always enjoyed YouTube. To me, it's always been a site that I could go on, relax, and just be entertained. And I know that there are a ton of people out there that feel just like that, that YouTube is their website, that they can go on there and just relax. And hopefully as viewers, that will continue to be the norm, unless we just end up getting fucked over somehow. It's also pretty clear how I feel about YouTube. Uh, this is the second topic I want to get into. I have a lot of nostalgia for older YouTube. And no, this is not going to be me shitting on newer YouTubers. Um, I mean, technically I'd have to shit on myself then. But I do have some opinions that I'll get on with that, or that I'll talk about in just a second. But when you're a kid, um, you always have great memories, usually, of when you're a kid. And so YouTube older YouTube was when I was a kid, and so I have a lot of great memories about it. I Hopefully, my memories of old YouTube never change, and that I can continue to enjoy it. That being said, old YouTube never changes, and so it's up to new content creators to make, well, new and entertaining content, I guess you could say. And the only problem with I have with that nowadays is that it seems to me YouTube is becoming, and YouTubers alike, are becoming more corporate. It's always becoming more about the money and not the kind of content that you put out. And no, I, once again, I'm not saying that new YouTube is bad and we should go back to the Stone Ages. I'm just saying that at times it feels like people would so much rather make money on YouTube than try to get something out there that people would enjoy. And so that's definitely not what I want to do with my channel. And it's definitely something that I see nowadays. I recently saw a, a really awesome quote. I can't find it, and I can't remember the exact words of it. If you know who it is, then uh, I'll probably put it in the uh, end card, or, or, or put it down in the description if I find it. But uh, the quote was something along the lines of, YouTube is becoming a lot more corporate, but the people who know how good YouTube was 
can put a stop to it or have a voice against more corporate YouTube. And so I always, I thought that was a pretty awesome quote and definitely something that I kind of want to take my channel by, not being Mr. Moneybags or not that YouTubers make that much money, but, you know, not looking for money, but looking to make people happy. And that's really what I want to do with my YouTube channel. So how I feel about YouTube, uh, old YouTube, nostalgic, will probably always t love to enjoy to go back and look at old YouTube, you know, channels, old YouTube content. And newer YouTube, I just have high hopes for it, high hopes that I can enjoy it as much as I did then as I want to now. And I, once again, I think a lot of people feel like that. They're looking for uh, content that makes them smile like they did when they were kids. And so, yeah, a lot of high hopes going in for newer YouTube. Now, the final topic that I want to talk about today is where I want my channel to go. As I previously stated, I don't have to be Mr. Moneybags. I don't have to be the most subscribed to YouTube channel. I don't have to have the hugest audience in the world. To me, I just want to make my videos entertaining. I want to, want people to come here to laugh and, and to think more than anything. Um, I, I know my videos are kind of shit right now, uh, especially the gaming ones. I don't have the greatest computer in the world right now, but... I, I've set goals for myself, I've set standards for myself, and eventually I'm going to reach them. And so the, that that's where I, where I really want my channel to go. I want to reach my goals that I have set for YouTube. Um, I have no clue what exactly I want my channel to be like. Uh, I know I've uploaded some games uh, of me gaming, and I know uh, with this video I'm going to kind of have an opinion piece as well. And I, I kind of want both of those to be on my channel. You know, a little bit of gaming here and a little bit of opinion pieces over there, but I definitely don't know if I want to be family friendly or not. Uh, I know I've dropped a couple of F-bombs. I know I use cursing every now and then, and at times it's natural, at times it's not. So to me, it's just I'm going to have to find my own personality on here. Uh, how I, I don't I don't want to change for YouTube. I don't want to change for my relationship, but I definitely want to have a... You know, I just I just want to be natural on it, I guess you could say. And so that's really important to me. So yeah, where, where like I said, where I want my channel to go, I don't have to be number one. I don't have to have the most subscribers or make the most money. I just want to be on here making great content, making people laugh, and having a good time. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's about time that we conclude our first ever Friday Night Fireside Chat. Now, I just gotta say real quick, I don't know if you can tell the desperation in my voice. I have been working on this fucking video for so long. Um, it's been a little bit over a week now, or just about a week now. And I've been so excited to get this done that I've wanted to make it, make it like perfect. And even now, I'm not totally sure if uh, I like it or not. Uh, but it's just, it's been so long and I've been working really hard to try to make this a good video that, you know what, I'm just gonna throw it out there, see what people think, see if they like it, see if I can get some feedback on it, and hopefully I've, um, you know, met my goals with this video, which was to, um, you know, make you entertained and make you think a little bit. Um, I've been, like I said, very excited to uh, get this video actually out there, and um, I'm, ha I'm happy to finally do it. Um, hopefully this is the conclusion I go with, but uh, yeah, uh, thank you all so much for watching, so much Thank you so much to li for listening to me ramble, um, being an you know idiot on here. Um, I'm definitely this one definitely is not as good as I want it to be, but uh, you know it's the first one, so I'm just gonna learn learn from it. You know, continue to uh, get better at at these, and you know, eventually one day these these will actually be pretty good. But uh, like I said, thank shit. Thank you so much for watching. It's been it's been it's been fun. It's been a it's been a good video. Uh, this has been The Rocking Raptor signing out.